Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl. But also, we're gonna talk a bit about Crisis, but this is mainly a trailer breakdown for episode three of season five. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna talk about this Crisis stuff. Okay, so over the past few days, you may have seen some reports that. Crisis was going to feature the Teen Titans from Titans the TV show on DC Universe. I'm a little bit behind on it so I can't comment on it right now but I love season 1. So that report came out via Pagey actually and so it was all real and everything so essentially part of the script was leaked and it says there was a, at least a cameo in which the Titans would appear in Crisis. And so apparently it's already been filmed and apparently this cameo would be in, you know, on their Earth, wherever they are, you know, because they haven't been introduced to the Arrowverse, but they would see Crisis happening and they would be in the Teen Titans Tower, in the Titans Tower that they have in Season 2. So I think this would be amazing and I think just the idea of them cameoing would be just really cool you know it would cement an idea that they are in fact part of the Arrowverse but you know kind of just disconnected in a in you know their own different way you know similar to how all the other stuff that we've seen via cameos you know there was like hints to Smallville being real and then that, now Smallville's finally coming into it so maybe sometime in the near future we get like a full-on Titans crossover I think that would be really cool but anyway so that has been reported by Pagey on his channel, so go check out his video because he did that just the other day. And yeah, so let's move on to talk about Supergirl. So let's break down this trailer. This trailer is alright. Like, there's not actually that much in this trailer to get excited for, apart from this new villain who I have no idea who she is. But I do believe she's, you know, like half the episode and a lot of the episode is actually supposed to be focusing on Jean and Jean's brother and you know sort of carrying on from the end of last episode and how Jean wants to actually look into his mind and we know there's going to be young versions of both Malefic and Jean you know that was in the script so yeah let's talk about this trailer and break it down so the first shot of the trailer is here and it's of this woman this is the villain of the episode she's got like spider tattoos all over her kind of looks a bit weird and so essentially she kisses this person and she has a real spider actually like crawling up her back so she's some sort of alien or like metahuman or something like that and then James in the trailer says we have a murder to solve and you see this shot right here we got James and Kara together on the street this is going to be one of James's last episodes because McCard is actually leaving the show so I guess he's going to play a bigger role in this episode and then it cuts to that guy drop into the ground so essentially she's kind of a bit like poison ivy i do believe because like you know if you've seen the animated films from dc poison ivy kisses that means bad shit's gonna happen that means you're gonna drop because you've been poisoned so i i think that is sort of a reference to poison ivy and so then we move on and we see this deceased corpse that guy and Kara is somehow in there. I have no idea how they've got into this room. But anyway, so they're looking. They're obviously doing reporting. They look at some files and statistics. And I don't know. They're looking into his death, right? Because it's been a murder. And then she sees this. And this is a new shot. And she says, is that a tattoo inside his heart? And so, yeah. It looks like there's a freaking spider in there. Which is kind of creepy. Um, so... Obviously, maybe this is like a calling card of the murderer, and I think it will link eventually back to her. Then we get this shot of Kara, and she's like, what the frick is happening right here? This is so weird. Then we move on, and we get the voice overlay of Alex actually saying she's uniquely dangerous and very hard to stop. So we get the shot right here of her. Like I said, I'm not so sure about like the the tattoos I mean there's a hell of a lot but they seem to be really spaced out which is kind of weird but you know maybe that's how I did like a spider web and how spaced out you know a spider web could be 
anyway, so she's a villain. I have no idea who it is. Like, I don't think it's a comic book character. I could be wrong. So correct me in the comments below if you do know. But anyway, she's at like some sort of club or something. She's like sipping on this drink and, you know, she's looking kind of fancy. But, you know, she's got all the weird sort of tattoos all over her. So you can tell she's sort of villainous. And then we move on and we see Guardian and we know from the photos they released the other day he's going to get really injured. So it seems like, you know, she's actually really powerful. And so she smacks him in the face in this shot and we cut to this bit and he's being flung across the room. So she's obviously got some sort of superpower or like she, she's just like really strong as well as her other powers which we'll talk about in a minute. But anyway, so James is getting flung around and he's going to get really injured and we get the shot right here in the DEO. This is the bit where Alex actually talks and says the line I said earlier. So we got Kara in her new suit, we got James still here, you know, he hasn't left the show yet. So I think this is going to be a fairly big James episode in like half of the episode with Kara. And so Alex is in her DEO wear, we cut to this shot of Kara, a very nice shot, kind of a medium close up to her. And you see her superhero suit and man, like I really love the suit. I know I've said this many times, but it looks really great. And so then we move on. And this is where we see sort of her powers. She is sort of like Spider-Man, essentially. Like, she's flinging a web from her hand. That's Spider-Man. So this is in some sort of apartment. She's in casual wear. So it seems like Supergirl is actually confronting her. Like, Supergirl's found out where she lives or something like that. So we get this shot right here. You see Melissa as Supergirl. And she's sort of just like innocently looking on. And she's not ready for what's to come. But then that's when you see the spider web come in and you go here and she looks at it and she's like, oh shit, Spider-Man, I'm stuck against the wall. So yeah, looking forward to that bit. Okay, so then we see this shot right here and this is her charging Supergirl essentially and they're going to have a few battles in this episode as you can see throughout this trailer. And so you can see her, she's all tattooed up and everything, she's in some different clothing and she's attacking Supergirl and... We cut to this wide shot, she's fighting Supergirl, looks kind of cool, and the final shot of the trailer is very cool. We got the lighting and the back, they're all in silhouette and they are fighting each other. So before we end off this video, I wanted to talk about the synopsis because it does give us some other information that, you know, the trailer doesn't actually give us. So this is what it says. So be careful who you trust, Kara attempts to mend her relationship with Lena. John Jones takes a deep dive into his memories while Kelly tries to help an old friend. So this is the bit I'm talking about. John Jones takes a deep dive into his memories. There's going to be a lot of flashbacks with Malafaic and himself as, you know, a younger version of himself. We definitely know that from the script. So that's going to be a heavy part of the episode. I think it's going to be like mm, maybe half half. I would hazard the guess. And so the first bit of the synopsis actually details that Kara is going to attempt to fix her relationship with Lena. So does that mean that she knows it's broken? Like she has found out about what Lena is doing, you know, against her, like behind her back. I don't think that's going to happen in this episode. I think she's just going to be friendly. She's just going to be carrying on being sort of very apologetic and trying to, you know, get her normal relationship back. Because, you know, she didn't actually talk to Lena or interact with her last episode, so I'm guessing they've had like, I don't know, like a week's break from each other and they haven't talked, so Kara finally comes back and she tries to amend what, you know, she might think is broken. And so in regards to Kelly, she tries to help an old friend. I don't know who that old friend is. It could be anyone, it could be actually that spider person, like, <laughs> for real, like, it could be anyone, so we don't know. But anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video, please be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, as we try to hit 100,000 subscribers, we are so close, share the videos around, share it to everyone in real life, online, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, please do it, it will mean the world to me, so I'll catch you guys later, goodbye.
icy room.